Jackie's the best son the mother could ask for. Oh, I feel like shit. I'd rather be a bad seller than a dead gang member. I mean, this dude has literally gotten more money out of me than any other shop. I think he's done well. Forming London's inhabitants. Thirty too late. I'm doing it. Vampires. What does that make me? A double or a triple agent? If we still had this kind of stuff going on, be like, are you kidding me? Jesus, like, answer my question. I don't care what I'm wearing. Welcome back to Vampire, and let's get on to the topic of, man, do I hate it when people freaking think they can judge me so easily. I mean, like, I, when I play Trails of Cold Steel, I've told you guys before that I don't really like nobles or people who think they're higher than everyone else like that. Man, even if I was this a... Could be the public house, yeah. just Paxton mentioned. If I was some noble myself, this would be some bullshit. Well, hello. How do you do, assholes? Time to get a bite. Mm-hmm. That guy had AIDS. I'm gonna be dead soon enough. That's all from you. Hmm. Giselle's stolen money. Prewen has some unethical ways of financing their war. She won't even say thank you for this, I know it. Uh-oh. Huh. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Oh, come on. You don't need to do that. This place was already loaded. That'd be my one small problem with this. So much damn loading. You again? What do you want? You know, I didn't have to do this, but I got your money. I've identified the men who stole from you. You were right. They were members of some self-proclaimed militia. I knew it! Did you find the money, too? You're lucky I'm a good man, woman. Not some fancy pants noble douchebag. Yes, here it is. They thought they could finance their activities with it. I never thought a man like you would be kind enough to... I misjudged you. Badly. Um... I'm... Well... Thank you, sir. Will you give the money back to your comrades, then? Fuck those bastards who fired me. I'll give the money to Miss Gillingham. Her son Jack was a friend of mine. He was killed recently. Now that's good. I know you were friends with Miss Gillingham's son, Jack. Tell me about his death. Jack's murder has been a shock to the neighborhood. 
A sign that the situation is now out of control. Why is that? There has always been tension between the wet boot boys and members of the trade union. But a murder? That's a first. Why does that upset you so much? I wish I had found the time and words to tell him how important he was to me before it was too late. Another failure for Giselle Paxton. Who killed him? No one will ever know. One thing is certain. While Jack was alive, I had one less reason to drink. Hmm. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. There's that quest done. And so I'll just keep this one uh, marked around. But man, there's a lot of side quests. And probably a lot more to still pop up here and there. And then I'm gonna, I still have stuff here. Well, excuse me, madam. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. What can you tell me about the sad saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton. The sad saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he's not always sad. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home now. It's a safe place for me and my sister. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself. Better watch your back, Mr. Reed. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you would better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, the thieves, the drunks, the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, I am not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton's shelter. No one would dare to be violent there. We're gonna find that one out, aren't we? I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital. But he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. This Seymour worries me. Perhaps Sean knows something about him. Oh god, he's right there. Hold on, slow down. I was about to aim, can go through the main quest. Like I almost accidentally did something I didn't want to. You gotta explore the area and take your riches, people. Oh. Hmm, interesting. It's locked. It's locked. I won't be able to find my way. Because it's locked. Lots of drugs. I 
makes a lot of noise running up here. Burnt letter, eh? Thing of importance down here. Excuse me. Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Lottie, tell me about the wet boot boys. I know they've threatened you. Edwina Cox wanted me to provide her with information about Mr. Hampton's resources. I refused. Is that not dangerous? Fuck them and their lies! They claim they protect the interests of the neighborhood, but they are just greedy parasites like all the rest! I respect your courage, Miss Paxton. And I hope life will never wear you down. Dr. Reed, <laughs> you know how to make a girl blush. I am glad you came to the docks. Whatever your real reasons are. Goodbye, man. All right, let's go meet with Sean. Oh, hi, Sean. <laughs> just standing there. I was surprised the cool, the main quest doesn't just immediately activate. Hey, you tails. Tell me about the last detail. face doctor Jesus he looks like a fucking mess it looks like we both have changed a lot I must confess it saddens me Sean. put your faith in the Lord doctor he has a plan for all of us we may not always see it but he does since you left Pembroke the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Wonders never cease. Scowl, managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Why do I almost doubt that? Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day, so saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. My God. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? It's all over your face, your eyes. Look at this man's eyes! But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand? 
nor the other incidents at Pembroke. Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. <laughs> People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. I fucking... Yeah. I will not look kindly on you if you're trying to trick me. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. I have zero trust in you. This is gonna be some bullshit. But at least I can also talk to the man hiding in the sewers now thanks to this. You know, I don't think I've actually just full on looked at this. Wow. Ah, crap. Whoa, level 19 to 18s and stuff. You guys up on those levels now. Oh, yeah, he is, and you'll be next. He'll die before I can get his stamina going. Yes, he is. And you're next. Easy peasy. Time for a long loading time, Dr. Reed. I'm running out of soda. You know, I'm wanting to play Dragon Star Venrer. Venrer? You know, it's another combat hard game. I'm wondering if the protagonist, I can turn off his voice as well, like I did in Death and Request. Or that was just a weird one time thing for only Death and Request. I still have to finish Fairy Fencer at some point, but honestly, that one's kind of boring. puzzle. Oh dear. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. Hmm. Do I want to go in there? Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't work. Because enough water needs to be gone. I see. I think I know what I need to do. That gate should shut properly now. Can't go up there. And 
now the door should open because the water has been drained. Yep. Hey there, I heard that. Ooh. Bodies, many of them. Many dead. Jesus. Is that ass go on around here? Ooh. Hey, I saw you. Or heard you. It's the same thing. Not really, but I know you're here. I'm having a rat for dinner. I have this thirst for blood. I need you. This is despicable. I need you. I have this thirst for blood. Slot. I heard something. My, my. Oh. Have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Hmm. Fine then. Respect the laws of Ascalon. Wow, I hardly do damage. Ow, don't get hit. Actually, how does he handle the stake? Oh, he handles the stake pretty good. Ow. Was singing your name. What the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Resist. 
No. I shall tear thee apart and spread blood to the pissing well. Jesus! Get away! I shall crush you. Shit, shit, shit. Return to your apartment. No, no, no. I was so close. Oh, come on. Oh, so st I was so close to beating him. I hate that dang stomp he has. I would have first tried him, dude. Damn it. <sighs> Am I gonna be at the fucking beginning of this place? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, no, it's just right outside his boss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, take it easy, asshole. What the fuck? It's just that stomp attack that he has that's fucking annoying. Oh, bull crap. I'm just annoyed that I was so close to being him, he puts me down with a stupid ass stomp. No, wait, are you kidding me? Oh my god, he's gonna start getting health back from me. My neck shall snap like a hair's brittle bones, newborn! Don't even do that again. Once you vanished, I'll slaughter these skulls while singing your name. And there he goes again with a stupid ass stomp. Are you? F Are you kidding me? Am I gonna do this dumbass thing where I get so close and then I'm gonna like fail like 20 fucking times till I get there again? Cause that always seems to happen for me. I get so close one time and then start screwing up so many others till I finally beat it again. It's that guy's damn stomp.
This guy really... He's not really that hard. It's just that stomp. I can hardly figure it out. Fuck you. Can I stop getting hit? No, don't. God, you're an idiot. Should not have done that. And he moves away from that fucking thing. Dude! Fuck. There, that's enough. Don't do that again. This is so dumb. 